my name is Natasha and I work with the Saskatoon Public Library and I'm joining you today for um, a festive fun video and I'm going to do a little holiday craft that you can give as a gift for somebody um, and I am of course joining you from my home which is located on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis and for my family for some reason we associate Harry Potter books with Christmas I think because they just have that good um, holiday scene. So we usually end up reading a bit from the book and watching some of the movies, um, just part of our holiday tradition. So this year, I am making a surprise for my kids for Christmas and that I'm making them Harry Potter wands. So I started already and I've done quite a few of them. And these ones just have their first layer, um, first two layers done. And I'm going to give these to them um, for the holidays. So I figured I'd show you how to make those yourselves. And it's actually really, really easy. So all you're going to need is chopsticks or any other piece of wood. If you have dowel or even you can do them on um, pencils or pens. Uh, and then craft paint, paintbrush, which I forgot to bring up. And um, the key ingredient here is actually a glue stick. So I have my hot glue gun warmed up here. And all you do is you take your chopstick or whatever you're using, and you start to make all sorts of fun shapes with the glue. And you can experiment with different textures or you can add beads and things. Um, on this one, I put some beads under and covered them with glue to get that texture on the end. And this one I tried wrapping tape around for different shapes. Um, it's a bit squishy still, but that's kind of fun. And this one's just glue. So be warned, you'll need quite a few glue sticks. Um, and this one, I actually wrapped an old hair elastic around for the texture. So whatever you have, you can stick in there and you can make them simple or complex, whatever you want to do. So just get your, your glue gun nice and warm. Remember, be careful. It's going to be really hot as it first comes out. And I like to start right on the end here. Because in my mind, these ones always have a nice, interesting handle. we just have to wait for that to dry and then we'll paint it at least one more time and then we'll spray them and they'll be done and there you have it a very simple easy and fun holiday gift thanks <laughs> 